Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing about celebrating Valentine's Day in lockdown. So as you all know, this Valentine's Day is going to be a little bit different to all of the Valentine's Days that we've had in the past. If you've been living under a rock, you know that we've been living through this pandemic now for um, coming up to nearly a whole entire year. What I did to do is put a video together of different ideas that you can do during Valentine's Day in a pandemic. So. The next couple of options are going to showcase to you how you can make a Valentine's Day the best it can be in a pandemic for a fraction of the price. For those people that don't know me, hi, my name's Jack. I am interested in fashion, lifestyle and styling. And if you enjoy it, please do stick around. Please click that subscribe button because it really does help. And if not, just leave a comment or at least give this video a like. Grab that elderflower, grab that water, and let's get straight into the video. The first one on my list is standard flowers. Standard flowers in a box of chocolates. But I would elevate that a little bit more. So for example, if your partner is a key worker or if your partner is still working throughout this pandemic, then why not send these flowers and chocolates to their place of work? I've done it before in the past and it goes down an absolute treat and it's amazing. I feel a little bit like you've made a little bit more of an effort really. And I, I think it's such a good idea because it takes also the stress off you. You can, you can book it through an online company and they can do all of the work for you. All you need to do is write the card. You can also select a card that it comes with, which is incredible. Houseplants. Houseplants at the moment are a massive vibe in the house. Of course they are, because they're houseplants. These houseplants that you can see behind me, I only bought them from B&Q and they're only £12 each. It came with the plant, of course, and it came with the plant pot with it. Of course, a plant or a flower always comes with a lovely box of chocolates, but why don't you push the boat out? Instead of buying these tacky chocolates, me and my mom always refer to them as cardboard chocolates because there's just no taste in them. Get a bar of lint or something, or even green and black. They are my favorite chocolates, and you can actually get them in little packs where you've got like all selections and stuff. And I think that's only, what, eight pound or something. Yeah, it just shows a little bit more class. It shows a little bit more like you've thought it out. And who doesn't like a box of chocolates? If you bought me a box of chocolates and started to get fat and then you fell out of love with me, then I would definitely highly recommend not buying me a box of chocolates. <laughs> Marks and Spencers, my God, this place. Now, Marks and Spencers food is top notch. I don't think I've ever met one person in the UK that does not like M&S food. So they do this thing which is called dine in for 20 pounds. And Marks and Spencers is very well known for this. Incredible. For 20 pounds, you can get a starter, a main, a dessert, a side, as well as a bottle of wine or a soft drink, whatever your preferences are. In stores on February the 10th, and the best thing about this is that Marks and Spencer's Food Hall is an essential shop. So it is still open and you can go out there and buy it. You can't buy it online, unfortunately. There are other options that you can explore on the Marks and Spencer's website, which are showing up now. You can have a look at flowers, cards, things that we were talking about in the previous clip as well. <laughs> It's so fun because you all start off sober, you all get a little bit tipsy, and then by the end of it, you can't remember how to turn the camera off, and then you start stripping in front of your friends and you go to sleep. I mean, now, this can actually work both ways. This can work if you're in the same household together, if you're not in the same household together, or it can even work if you're single, like me, and you want to talk to your friends and still have a fun time on Valentine's Day. For your next essential shop, get a couple of ingredients which can make these cocktails. And why don't you all pick a specific cocktail and each person goes around, shows you how to make it, and then everyone else can join in and make it at the same time. This isn't as good as going out to the pub or going out to a cocktail or a jazz bar or anything like that. I think it's such a nice little cute idea. I know me and my friends thoroughly enjoyed it. A little social gathering, not gathering, gathering on the FaceTime instead of in person. Dive into the history of Valentine's Day with three facts. Fact number one. Cabris in Bonville actually illustrated the idea of giving chocolate 
to your lover. You know that the first Valentines was written by the Duke of Orleans at the age of 21 in the 15th century. Fact number three, a kiss, an X. What, why do we always put an X at the end of our cards? Back in the day, used to represent Christianity and also a cross, just a standard cross. In that time, writers would always seal documents or approve things with an X. Kings and queens would sign documents with Xs and they would kiss it so it would have a seal of approval. So from then onwards to the modern day, an X has been referred to as a kiss because it's been sealed with a loving kiss. Also guys, if you haven't checked out yet already my blog post, my blog post for this video will be listed below as well with a couple of other ideas and also links for you to click on and go straight to the pages which I'm referring to. So they were my three fun facts. Now, if you haven't already done so, it also gets to this part of the video where I always tell you to remember to go and grab a coffee, grab a nice hot drink or a cold drink. Of course, we don't judge here. We'll continue with the video, shall we? Might as well go and click that subscribe button and that like button and leave a comment if you must, if you wish, please do. So the next idea is going out for a walk. Now this has been encouraged by so many people out there, not just purely for Valentine's Day, but throughout the whole entire pandemic which we're experiencing at the moment. Independent coffee shops that are still opening and still functional during the lockdown, then why don't you utilize that as much as you can? Coffee, you can continue your walk, and it just gives it that little bit more of an elevated walk, really. And if you hit the moment where there's a sunset, then you can go and experience the sunset together whilst drinking a coffee or having a nice little cake. It just makes it a little bit different instead of staying in the home, especially for Valentine's Day. Netflix without the chill. Now, we all know what Netflix and chill means. I definitely do on the gay scene not on that scene, then I'm sure you still know what it is. Netflix without the chill. Of course, we can't incorporate the chill if you're separated with households, but if you aren't separated in households, then you carry on. You enjoy that chill. If you're not in the same household, then at least you can FaceTime each other whilst watching a Netflix program, nice hot chocolate, or a drink of your choice, and just watch a film together. Yet, yeah, it's not as simple and it's not, it doesn't feel the, exactly the same as it would do if they were sat here. What we have to do is what we have to make up with and it's look this pandemic isn't going to last forever but the next valentine's day you'll be able to do netflix and chill in its full capacity so then guys thank you so much for joining in that is the end of this video ideas that you might be able to do or you might be able to think of or it might show a little bit of guidance on your own imagination what you want to do for valentine's day if you're like me and you're a single pringle enjoy it why not enjoy it like sit down enjoy have a night to yourself put a film on, do a bit of skincare, go and have a shower, put some cute little PJs on and have an early night. Please do give this video a like as well as subscribe. And if you haven't already done so, please do follow my Instagram page. The next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay out of trouble. See you soon guys.